back to Open. I'm your host, Darren Jaime. The History Makers Scholars Program is a five-week enrichment program which encourages and challenges high school students to complete college-level research work while allowing them to en engage as college, uh, I should say, in the college experience as students. Now here to tell us more is the Associate Coordinator of Service Learning at the Dorothy Day Center for Service and Justice at Fordham University Lincoln Center, John Pierre LaCour, the Program Coordinator for the Center for Achieving Future Education at Bronx Works, Tyler Rodriguez, uh, Jr. at Bronx Early Education, uh, I should say Early College Academy, Jocelyn Spencer, a junior at KIPP NYC College Prep High School, and Catherine Crawford, Program Director of History Makers. Try saying that twice. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Thank you. Yeah. Good to have you. So, John Pierre, give us a little history here. Well, thank you, thank you for having us back here um, today to talk about the program. The History Makers program has entered nine years of community partnership with Fordham University's Dorothy Day Center for Service and Justice and the African American Histories Department um, with Bronx Works. Uh, it is a program that has been able to reach out into the community and bring young people to the campus to not only learn about um, black history and the impacts of community and development of African Americans and people of color in the Bronx, but also give students the opportunity to expand their learning and opportunities on campuses by learning to sit down with professors and mentors to actually use that as research and kind of put that into the community and their own development. Mm -hmm. Catherine, a little bit about the work you do. Sure, so I'm the program director, so I really facilitate um, and support the students. Um, we also have college mentors who uh, take on a group of six students. So I'm really there to support um, the facilitation of the conversations. Um, I take them on the field trips. Um, I'm part of the conversations with the, the faculty. Um, they have Fordham faculty that comes in and they provide the lecture for the week. So mm -hmm. I really am kind of um, the, the logistical and kind of the support and I like, create the space for them to do that. Tyler is the sophomore at the Bronx Early College Academy. And uh, so give us a little bit about what the program is to you and wh what you do. So the program has been a really great experience because you get to go on Fordham, you get to go on campus and have fun. But it's not just about like having fun and get, getting on campus. It's more about you're learning about all these things that you don't learn about in school, about history. You learn about the Bronx burnings, which they don't talk about in schools. Mm -hmm. And Jocelyn, for you? Yes. Um, this program has really meant a lot to me. It opened my eyes to my community and it actually exposed a lot. So now I'm more like I'm not just judging uh, the Bronx as, as uh, something that, you know, saying that's negative. I see it as a beautiful place that can actually grow and aspire to be something better. And so for young people who take part in this program, what do you think they, they walk away feeling and what do you think they walk away knowing? They really walk away knowing that there is, we, Bronx, there's a pride to the Bronx. We have, we have famous people like um, the Latin jazz, Rita Romero, and that kind of thing. And there's a lot of like, l really good people who came from the Bronx, and the Bronx is a very, is a very great place to be in. It's true. The Bronx is a very good place. And so to have students have this kind of opportunity, obviously, is life-changing for them because it changes their perception. And at the same time, it also opens up to, I would say, some cultural enrichment. That's correct. Um, one of the things that really establishes this program, and I want to actually add also that this is a development project that came from the Teagle Foundation, um, primarily to open the students' eyes and to show them and expose them to opportunities of information that is not readily available to them. One of the big and essential pieces that, through the partnership we have, is to develop the, the youth as individuals and citizens that they are in this community and they have a part to that. And that's also to develop them to go on to college and to try to expand their, their ability to see themselves as cognitive thinkers. And that's really essentially the big part of this program. The relationships that these students make on campus with their mentors and the coordinators and the professors is essential. A lot of these things do not happen um, in that capacity for a lot of young people in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. And we talk about college level research, uh, you know, high school students have the opportunity to really do that. Uh, because when you get to college, we know the research game is a whole lot different. So what's it been like for you? Um, I found it to be very interesting. Um, it, it has been pretty hard. Um, I found it cool that we got to learn how to use like stuff like JSTOR to research and stuff. I was like, hey, we're doing college stuff. Mm -hmm. So it was really cool for me. Um, my school, they kind of prepare us to do college work, but not to this level. So I'm actually excited and I feel more prepared to go to college than any school prepared me for. Early exposure is key. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
So give us a little bit about when you talk about early exposure, and I, and I say early exposure is key because it, it allows kids to have the opportunity to really to really learn. What are your, what are your thoughts now, specifically about college? Um, I'm very actually excited about college. Before I was really scared about I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. And you don't really learn the caliber of the work that you're doing mm -hmm. until you actually get to try it out. And this program has been like a really good experience for me because I get to learn, hey, this is JSTOR. I can use JSTOR. It's easy. And it's very, it's very comforting. Uh, it's a very comforting feeling knowing how to do college level research. Mm -hmm. How are young people allowed to engage in this program? They see these young two young people here and they say, hey, this is something that maybe I, I want to jump in. A parent saying, hey, this is something I'm a, I want my, my child to participate in. Well, essentially, the way that we, we recruit students is, is a recruitment process. We uh, send out information during the school year to let students know and faculty and advisors know that Bronx works in partnership with Fordham. We have a, a college access piece that we reach out and have a relationship with. And during that time, we also explain that we have a summer enrichment program through the History Makers. And then through that process over a series of maybe a month or two, applications come in to Bronx Works, and then we actually review them. In fact, this past year was one of our first years that we utilized um, a basically about 16 to 17 alumni of students have done this program over the nine years to sit down and actually sit and interview every one of these students this year. So we send out information through inter internet and we actually send it out through social media as well as emails to, to a lot of the faculties and schools in the Bronx. So before we go, let's get the information out there. How do they get in touch with you? Uh, you can contact BronxWorks.org or you can call Jean-Pierre LaCour at BronxWorks.org um, or you can actually contact the Dorothy Day Center and. Right. Catherine. Catherine, tell us. Yeah, so at Rose Hill, the number is 212, um, I'm sorry, 718, that's the Lincoln Center, 718-817-4510, uh -huh. and it's um, C-A-S-J-R-H at Fordham.edu is the email. Right, well, thank you guys so much for coming and sharing with us, mm -hmm. and keep up the good work, and now that you got the early jump, mm -hmm. you know, you get your feet in the water, and now you'll be able to succeed, so thank you so much for coming, best wishes to you guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. you. All righty, well, guess what? Taking a quick break, coming back with more open after this. Stay with us. We're returning.